soap in a pouch. Sounds interesting, right? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. This is Uncle Gare at WRMN 1410 AM and 96.7 FM. And I have Regina from Noble Soaps. Uh, she's going to tell me about some of her soaps that she makes. You're from Bartlett, right, yes, Regina? Yes, I am. Tell me how you got involved in this. We've got specialized soaps, zinc yes. bars. I'm guessing everything is natural, yes. right? Yes. Yes, absolutely. So we actually started this, my husband and I, um, my husband, Robert, he's not here today, but about 10 years ago, he started, he started this journey of like looking for things that we're going to put on our body. We wanted things that were natural. We don't want to like your skin is your biggest organ. Yeah. And you, when you put natural things on there, it gets absorbed. You don't want all this garbage on there. Mm -hmm. And he started making me soap because I was constantly I'm soaking my feet, washing, like washing my arms because I'm having reactions to things that weren't natural. And so when he was just a boyfriend, he went, hey, labor of love, I'm making you soap. And he made me this amazing soap. It was creamy. It was it was just something that was wonderful. And I didn't break out from it. So and necessity so, is the mother of invention, it was, right? It uh, in was. other words, it was necessary for you to have that yes. type of soap that you could tolerate. Yes. And now all of a sudden it's become a business. It has. Um, <laughs> it was wonderful because it started as just making things for ourselves. It was making things for our family, things that we felt mm -hmm. comfortable and safe using, things that, uh, you know, that my sister could use, my, our kids could use. And even before kids, it was just like my grandfather, my grandparents could use. And then COVID hit and oh, yeah. we were making soap for everybody. We were donating it to my grandpa lived in a old folks home we were donating because everyone wanted it at that time and it's like we're giving away to our yeah, neighbors and everything. Get. it was like fantastic right. and then we in 2019 is when we actually got our LLC and started we're like we can do this we should do this as a business let's teach people because we did the we did the research we what you put on your body matters and so that we could tell people about this like you want to use natural things so tell me a little bit about your process I know that some of the big commercial producers like Dove, I guess. I don't know if they're still out there in my they family are, or not. Um, and power to them. I would never. I don't like to to say anything bad about no, other businesses no. ever. But ours is natural, so ours is okay. vegan. Yeah. It is, it is pure oils. And I just want to say a shout out to the place that I do is from a woman-owned business, actually right here in Des Plaines. It's called Soper's Choice, mm -hmm. and that's where we get our pure olive oil, coconut oil, sunflower oil, and sustainably sourced palm oil. They are an amazing business. Been in business for over twenty years, and. We trust them. Those are the oils that I use. That is what our soap is made of, pure oils. And they are cruelty free. They are, they are rain, they help the rainforest. They make sure that everything that they get is pure and that it's harvested. So all correctly. natural. All natural. That's great. Uh, I see you've got them in a number of different emu oil, vegan argan oil, yeah. vegan mango and cocoa butter. Yeah. And I see it's also good like uh, for people with uh, like you. With yes. I see my, so, my wife has uh, eczema. Would this yep. help her? And so, yes. Yeah, so I and by help, I mean, so when she has her flare ups like I do, I have eczema yeah, and psoriasis. So when you have flare ups, you, people are always scared to use soap. And so they feel like they can only wash with wa water or something like that. Mm -hmm. And ours, I don't say cure, but they don't inflame. They don't hurt you during them. So like. Like we use tea tree oil. So really mild, mild too. Yes, but they're very mild. Interesting. So uh, you've got this going. Do you have actually? Do you have a? Do you have a plant that you make them in, or is it just no, at home? It's at home. Um, we actually, you know, had someone come in, make sure they were doing it right, and yeah. we make it at home. And it's in a completely sterile. We clean and everything. So yeah, yeah. it's just it's just you and your husband, right? Yeah, but it's, well, it's me and my husband, and actually my sister. You know, it takes a village. Like yeah, I absolutely. You know, do what my parents and my in-laws come when I need to have things labeled? Absolutely. When I need like help getting ready for markets and someone to watch my kids, it's my family. I have my twin sister here today too, because she helps me with the farmer's market. She helps me, you know, she helps with the candles and everything that we do. She, so it's really. You do candles too? Yes. Yes, we do. I see everything's handmade. So it is. this is all. Small batch, handmade. Made, small batch handmade small batch handmade and natural the best. because you also like when you look at candles we use hemp wax we use um soy and hemp mm -hmm. oil, um wax because you don't want you know it's something that's clean burning we make sure that all of our oils fit and are within regulations we use the essential oils that are safe safe for humans little humans and for and for babies because you don't you know homes are for everybody and as so far as the soaps are concerned and that sort of thing, who are you marketing? Are you marketing just out of the 
the farmer's market or do you have any uh, customers like natural stores? So not yet. Like that? that is something that we're hoping to do because something that we've had the luxury of doing is working with a lot of small businesses because we don't use, we don't buy from big businesses. We, like I said, Soper's Choice, that's where we get our oils. We get our pure essential oils from in St. Charles, another woman owned business called Pure Essentials. We actually, my husband, Bob is amazing and he does, he created all of our images. We actually get them printed here in Elgin at, um, what is um midwest midwest label mm -hmm. so we try to put back into the community and small businesses if someone goes to target or anything is great but it's not helping your community it's not helping you know these pe anyone in your community it goes to them when you buy from small business it goes back into your community and you touched a little bit up on something that i was going to ask about and that's how how it's packaged <laughs> Yes. And uh, I'm eco guessing friendly. E eco friendly and plus, like you say, you probably you probably don't have a label or you're probably popping popping those labels on by hand. Yes, you? we are. So everything again, when we say this is handmade and it's done, it is literally done by us, we are we are stamping our own bags with our own labels. We are putting every wow. sticker on and everything like that. But again, everything that we get is getting from small bit our bags that we get. We get them. We get them local. Our glass bottles that we use for our liquid soap, they're from Berlin. So outside of Chicago, um, our soap, we we that we make our soap in it's wood made by a local so we try to so do you it. do actually you do actually have something in glass right yes what, what is that that's a liquid hand soap liquid hand soap so i know the cost of glass yep. is, goes up but I, you're getting the quality of the product yes and uh where would that be used i'm guessing in someone's fine bathroom or something well, like and that. I, I always say i know everyone everyone will say when you see myself they're like oh it's too pretty to use it's not too pretty to use you should use it it's utilitarian but yes, right yes it, it's for everybody and you should use things that make you happy but yes our so our hand soap people love so we have a citrus rosemary which goes great in the kitchen um i have a lavender that people love in their bathroom i also have a eucalyptus mint with if you have a guest bathroom they put it in your guests but it, i use it all the time my kids love it too so. What's your best seller? Our best set seller of the liquid hand soap is the citrus rosemary. It citrus. smells divine. And then what about the regular soap? So, yeah, okay, our regular, so it's just packaged as it. So it is cold processed, so it mm -hmm. can withstand the elements. It is a hardcore. And we just use a, I use paper, so it's recyclable. Right. And it's just a little, um, a, just a little label. So, yeah. A little label, so no no plastic packaging nope, I, for we you. We do not do any plastic. So actually, <laughs> I actually have one here. So we make lip balm, a lip butter is what I call it, because it's no preservatives. I Take use it, it out. Let's see it. Absolutely. Can you talk about the different scents of your soap? I can't. Um, I have over... Sorry. I like Look at that. That's a... And does that I don't think I'd like to use this. I think it's uh, too much of a work of art, don't you? <laughs> does the, do the scents linger on your skin? So, okay. So this is... This is people want bath... And Bath and Body Works serves a purpose for some. This does not stay on your skin as that because it's not a detergent. It's not a fake. So it does... You will smell it when you take a shower. You will be like... When you use like a tea tree eucalyptus or a relaxation, that lavender pops and everything and you will smell it. It will help your skin. You'll smell it for a little bit, but it will not stay on your skin that much. And is it like really moisturizing? So our soap is fantastic. Yes, it is cleansing without drying. It is moisturizing without leaving like that residue and feeling like thick on it. So it's fantastic. Awesome. Thank you. So you've been doing this 10 years now. I will say, so going, my husband started doing it and mm -hmm. it, he started the foundation and he, he did all that. And like for about with like the research and everything, like 10 years and for the soap making, yes, right around there. So it's been insane. And yeah, it's been a labor of love. So looking forward, look at if you if you could look into your crystal ball to a couple of years from now, where do you where do you see Noble Soap? All right, Noble Soap. So hopefully in store. So we've been talking with other people like local, like we're talking with bakeries about holding our stuff and mm -hmm. local, like local. But we're talking to breweries actually, actually yeah. some in the area where we use their beer in our soaps because beer is actually very good for your skin and things like that. So we were looking at storefronts, but you know a storefront's more than my mortgage oh, right yeah. now. So I'm like, ah. But that's that's our hope, and but it's also just to also educate people because it's our plan. We use zero plastics. We do papers. We we do local. You don't want to put these big plastic bottles in the you know in our environment anymore. So a part of it is just teaching and letting people know that you should environmentally yes. sound product. Yes. And you know uh, when you think about nobility, you think about they always had the best. <laughs> they always had the freshest. And I think that's a great name too, Noble Souls. Yep. I'd like to thank you for being here with us thank today. You so much. Uh, I don't think I touched on your. Uh, do you have a Facebook page or do you have a, a website? Yes, yes, we have all of it. So you just go to the Noble Soapery and you'll find us. You'll see us on Instagram, you'll see us on Facebook, and we have our own website. And then you can always find us here at the Elgin Market and at the Bartlett Farmers Market. So currently, you don't ship any soaps, though, do yes, you? Yes, we do online. Oh, do? I ship all over.
there you go. Okay, you can get them online. You don't have to stop to the farmer's market. <laughs> Just go to the website. And the website again was? Um, noblesoapery.com. All right, I'd like to thank yeah. Noble Soaps for coming on today. WRMN 1410, this is Uncle Gare. Be thank back you. after this.